said, get the fuck out of here. I'm building a man, not a faggot or a puto, but a man. He said he did his job. Yeah, look where this life got you. Do you believe people have changed? I believe in you, Rudy. I need you in my life. I want our son to grow up different than we did. I want him to have his father around. I know it sounds crazy, because I know it does. But in a way, I was home. This is your home. I had a job. I had health insurance. I had three meals a day. You can have that on the outside. Where? Tell me where. Working on my bonus? Can it sound rich motherfucking law? It's called work, Rudy. Something you've never done your entire life. Oh, is that so? I work. My mother works. My father worked and supported seven children with $200 a week. Where did he get him though? He died at fucking 40. It's about respect. Respect for my clicker. Respect? Respect for what? Dying for your value? You're willing to give up your life? My life? Our son's life? For an insignificant piece of turf? It's not just your father. Or the homies you're running with. It's our barrio. We're all the same. Your ideas and your, your homies' ideas about respect are all twisted. Because you know what? You have to earn respect to get respect. Respect your son. Be a good father. And if you can't do that, then I'm going to take him and we're gone. You're not going nowhere. He's not gonna grow up to be a gangster. Why can't you just give him a little break? I need some time to think about that. I'm... Time? You have three years to think about it! <laughs> Why you always gotta be a bitch? Huh? Why do you have to be disrespectful? How can you fucking talk to me that way? I waited three years for you! Hey, my grandfather was a cholo. My father was a cholo. And I'm a fucking cholo. What do you want from me? You need to make a choice. It's up to you. So I'm at no choice.